Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. I'm back with a very interesting product review today. It's a thermal imaging camera from a company called Kaiweets. Uh, a couple weeks ago I reviewed their digital multimeter and they, at the time, they asked if there was any other products I would like to review. They kind of a vast array of products that they make. Um, and I was very much interested in the thermal imaging camera. Mostly it's uh, for the boat. I wanted to have it for uh, checking the engine while we're underway and seeing pieces that are maybe overheating. Also on the boat and in the RV I have fairly complex uh, off-grid power systems, solar uh, inverters, chargers, lots of wiring. So it makes it very easy to point one of these and see the hot spots. Also could be quite useful for monitoring tire temps, uh, brake temps, uh, engine temps, all sorts of things like that, or even uh, maybe checking uh, uh, temperature readings on things like barbecues and cooking pans, that sort of thing. So all sorts of different uses. So I was very interested in this product. I'm going to break it down into a few things. We're just going to take it out of the box, <clears throat> look at it physically, look at the screen, the setups, that sort of thing, and then we'll get to work and uh, give you some real-world world examples of it in use. Uh, it has the ability to take photos and record to an internal memory card, and you can pull that out and play it back with their software, so that'll be interesting. Not sure why it came in such a big box, because inside was this, which is a case with the unit itself in, and then just a little power cable and owner's manual. There we are, fits in its protective case. Like I say, there's a charging cable. This can also be used to uh, draw the photos and videos off of the unit to transfer them to the, the PC to have a look at. And then there's an owner's manual. It looks pretty thick, but it's in multiple languages. It's only about 26 pages for the English version of it. There's a physical look at it. It feels pretty good in the hand. And you can see there's a flap, a protective flap that opens. And then you can see the sensors in there. There's a trigger here for taking photos and videos. On the side is the charging port. And there's the screen. Model number is KTI-W01. It says resolution 256 by 192 temperature range minus 20 Celsius to plus 50 550 Celsius or minus translates to minus 4 Fahrenheit to plus 1022 Fahrenheit so it does go quite high got a keypad here and a screen so let's just uh, turn her on hold the button down for a few seconds Screen boots up. It's like it's taken maybe 10 or 15 seconds to, to boot up. There we go. So let me go through all the settings and the button features here. Okay, let's give you a look at the display here. You can see various uh, things on the display. We have whatever I'm pointing at in the crosshair shows the temperature, changes up in this corner here. Then we have min and max temperature and time. Um, also have something E equals 0 .0, 0 0.95, I'll talk about that in a minute. And we have the battery left and kind of the color profile. Let's go to the menu so we can explain that more. There's a color correction, and what that does, you enter that, you get crosshairs, and that's sort of to match the overlay of the thermal image with the real image so that uh, everything is outlined in it. The menu, we got photos, that's where you would go in and view the photos you've taken and videos you've taken. Color palette, there you can see spectrum, iron, cool, white, black. I'll show you that in the PC software. It'll be easier to, to look at a picture and change those so you can see the differences. And then we have something called emissivity. 
think I said that right. And that is what you're uh, shooting it at. You can change that so matte, semi-matte, semi-glossy, glossy, or you can customize it. So I guess depending what surface you're you're measuring, you might want to adjust that. It seems to default to that E equals 0 0.95. Then we got some settings here. We've got auto shutdown, brightness of the display, language, C unit. I guess you can change it to Fahrenheit or Celsius. Temperature range. Not sure what that is. Okay, there's two temperature ranges, minus 4 Fahrenheit to 248, and then 248 to 1022. Date format, time, spot, changed, I guess, the way the, the spot meter looks, on or off. And then just the version of the equipment, firmware. So, pretty straightforward. Let's just try taking a picture. I think you just click it once, take a picture, yes, or you click it and hold it, and then you can start recording. So it's recording things right now, and then I can click and hold and recording. So let's just take a look at what I've just recorded in the PC software. I can change the different colors here for you. Turn it off. I just hold the button. There we go. Put flap back for protection. Okay, so I plugged the unit into my PC via USB and um, it had an image folder and a video folder that I could copy the images over. It also had this software already preloaded, IR Image Tools, so I installed that. And this is what you get. So this makes it sort of easy for me to show you the, the different color palettes they have. First, there's a blend tool. So I can go like this, and that shows the actual raw image. And then you can slowly blend in the color palette that you've chosen. Um, default is iron, there's spectrum, it looks like that, and there's cool, it looks like that, uh, white or black, so the hotter things will be black. Let's go back to spectrum here, or iron, yeah, and on the screen it will show you different temperatures, there's the spot that you're pointed at, um, the coldest temperature on screen and the hottest one down here. And then you can also utilize tools up here. If you click this, you can pick points to take a temperature reading. Oops. There we go, different points on the screen. If you wanna see temperature, this is actually my laptop. You can see right where I was typing, it's hot. And also this is my mouse, so it's quite, quite warm where I've been uh, holding on to the mouse. Um, you can draw lines on the screen, um, blocks or circles, different areas. It'll give you different temperatures in that area. So it's all very cool. Makes it a little easier than doing it on the, the gun itself. It makes the screen a little bit bigger, and easier to work with with the mouse. And then we can delete all that. So pretty cool. I guess you can do, do a, a project and then also save it. So that's about it for the settings and a look at the units. Let's get to the fun stuff and start taking some uh, pictures and videos of different uh, environments. I'm eager to see what the desert looks like at night. Okay, so let's have a look at a bunch of images I took as a test. First one here, you can see that's actually an image of Anne sitting there. Try another one here. This is our buddy heater. So we have a little uh, big buddy heater that we turn on at night. And I was kind of doing a high temperature test here. You can see parts of it are, are glowing over a thousand Fahrenheit. And here is inside our refrigerator. 
can see over here, these are still fairly warm. Those are some uh, pops, soda pops that they put in there. Let's take a measurement of them. You can see they're at 58.4. Everything else is very cold. Here is inside the oven with the oven turned on and cooking some uh, food up there. And then you can see the burner down there. So this next one here is the exact use case I was hoping for. This is a couple solar controllers you can see in there. And I didn't get actually the overlay matched up. I should have adjusted it. But right here is the back of it. There's a heat sink on, on the backs of these solar controllers. So they that would be expected to be hot. But this shouldn't be hot. And it is a wire coming out and going to a breaker. And it looks like one of the connections had come a little bit loose. So it was causing that wire when I was charging during the day. A lot of uh, about. I think it's about 30 or 40 amps was going through there and I guess it was heating up. So that's interesting that I was able to uh, find that and correct it. So like I say, it's easy rather than running around feeling all the wires and everything, just this, this image gun will give me an idea of the how long things are getting. Look at something else here. There's a truck tire. It's in the sun, so of course it would be heating up. That kind of gives you an indication of what that would look like. Another shot of the truck engine here. After I just got back driving to town, you can see the engine heating up. Got a stove, oven's on inside. Stuff is on the stove. Back here is there's a vent, so the oven vents air out the back there. And here's another pair of images here. This is actually, you can see the shape in there as the water heater. And there's the hot water coming out and going down the pipe. And this is under the sink and you can see the, the hot water pipe there. Here's some video footage for you. This is me just, scanning the engine compartment of our pickup truck. You can see the radiator hose there. Point to the radiator and touching it there. And then we kind of look down at the front grill area. Next, we'll open up the fridge and freezer. You can see the, the color change. There's the freezer there. And the fridge. And then here is just uh, scanning outside at night. Just shooting back at the camper. And you can kind of see there's our fridge grill there, so it's warm inside. And then this is the water heater. I'll just open up the access port here and you can take a look at what's showing. What's glowing in there is actually the, the drip kind of a um, release, pressure relief valve. So there you go. I think this is going to be a super handy tool for me in the RV and on the boat. Just looking in our shower stall here. Just had a shower. You can see the glowing piping where it's still warm water in there. And even behind the wall where the pipe comes up, it's heating up the bit of the wall. And then down below where it drained. Cool. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Cheers, everyone.